everybody, my name is Arter, and this is my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge. This is episode 12. Now, when we last left off, I was fighting this Rattata, this evil, wicked beast, part of Team Rocket's agenda. Or, you know, repertoire. I'm just using words I don't even understand myself. I'm hoping you guys don't either. That would just make me look like a fool if you did. Alright, Team Rocket Grunt. See, he can't win. He doesn't even have a name. How you expect to win, man? You ain't got no name. Oh. Here I am. I'm still whittling away Erdor Jr. Whittling away. Not even a whittling. I'm, I'm trying my hardest. I'm trying to make him something. Oh, I'm doing what any good parent would do. I'm just patience and love and nurturing. I'm going to make him powerful. He's going to have a good life one day. Johnny flinched. What a douche. Alright, paralyzed, can't move. That would happen. Come on, you cannot be beaten by a grunt. You're Johnny. You're savage. You're a little rat. You're a little mouse with electrical sacks. Little tiny balls on your cheeks. You got this. And okay. Well, I'm gonna use a potion. And that's what I'm gonna do. Last potion. I hope coming down here was worth it. I really do. Had its energy drained. Let's use quick attack again. Snapped out of confusion. That's wonderful. Congratulations, Johnny. You no longer want to punch yourself in the nuts. Arter Jr., Johnny, Experience, Team Rocket Grunt, I blew it! You're gonna blow something alright, baby. What's up? Alright, he's got pretty mouth if I may say so myself. Found a star piece. All that way. All that. For a star piece. And a shard of a pretty gem that sparkles in a red color. Really? That's what I came down here for. Team Rocket's there, you know, data fossils, and I'm picking up little pieces of stars. Which makes no sense at all, considering a star is a, you know, dense piece of fire. I just picked it up in my hand. But, you know, that would... I I'm very fortunate, because just last week I, I had purchased star heat proof gloves so I could pick up stars in my hand shrinks them down in little bits just like this one actually looks a lot like it the, the real suns actually aren't red like that if, if you didn't know they're actually purple they're actually purple yeah no it's uh it's quite quite a nifty thing when you're holding a star in your hands you know I was doing it I was doing it just last night and then you know the government came was like hey man you can't hold that star anymore. You're gonna destroy Earth. I was like, alright, man. Fine. Whatever. So, oh, I threw it back up into space. You might have noticed, it was, it went dark actually when I did it. Everything went dark. It was, it was, they call it nighttime, but it's actually, we got this system where we, uh, we, as in the people who have these gloves, there's only a few on the planet, we uh, take turns holding the sun for large periods of time each day and generally that's what people call nighttime but little do they know it's actually us holding the sun in our hand uh, we had one guy one guy his name was uh, his name was Gerald and he uh, he actually put it in his pocket wrong move he was not wearing the appropriate clothing and that includes pants so he just kind of <laughs> gone so there's actually an opening, so if anybody wants, there's, uh, just, just tell me if you're interested. You can, uh, leave your resume and everything, you know, you just send me a message, I'll, I'll get back to you, you know. I'll just look at your resume right quick, and I'll, I'll just, I'll recommend you to my superiors, you know. There's this one guy, he's the lead, he's the head honcho, he has full control over who gets these gloves, so we're still looking for a replacement for Gerald. Oh, but anyway, back on to this. Johnny, my little rat, you are not Gerald, you are Johnny, and you are paralyzed. 
I do not have a paralyzed heal, and it would take too long to go back to a store to buy some. And you're already paralyzed, that's wonderful. So this will give me, what, 10 experience? Oh, 40, look at that. Alright, we're gonna run up. And this brings me here. Now, what am I looking like here? I'm not looking like I'm in the best condition, and I don't think I have any potions left. Jeez. I gotta I gotta pull another one. I gotta pull another escape here. Can I do it? Ah oh, no! You never you can never make it. You you get on a big roll like that, you're like, yeah, dodge Pokemon left and right, and then you know, you got a fucking bloodsucker on you. No time flat. They're just on you. I'm not going to do that again. I've already done a splash attack and Erda Jr's hurt. Now, I'd like to send Johnny out. I'm going to. And I'm hoping that nothing bad happens to him. Nothing bad happens to him. Woo! Funny. Funny guys. I got this, though. On a serious note, I've got this done. All right. Arter 27, Johnny 27. It's a good number, good age. I remember that year. Good year too. Made wicked one that year. All right, we're gonna heal up. Good thing we uh, we just explored that lower cavern, and now we're gonna go finish this cave off. I want to get everywhere, you know. One because it's like I'm grinding, but I'm not. I'm not actually breaking a grinding rule. You guys can go ahead and call it grinding. I'm just gonna call it playful exploration. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what I'll call it. And, uh, you know, it works out better for me in the end because, oh, grinding, it takes such a long time to grind. And I just did it again. I looked at it, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna use Splash Attack. No, wait, that's a stupid idea. And I did it anyway. Um, I almost did it again there. So, no, I don't want to send you out. I want to send, I want to send Johnny out. I'm gonna have to make a shirt. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go. There's this paper you can buy, and you print images off on your computer. I think I got that at uh, just any local office supply store. And uh, it's this paper you, you print off your image, and then you take an iron to it while it's on a shirt, and it'll, it'll copy the image onto the shirt. But you gotta make sure you reverse it. So maybe I'll make a shirt with my with my final team, if I can make it to having six Pokemon. And then I'll have their names all on the back, and it'll just be this nice little shirt. I won't wear it. I'll just hang it on a wall or something. It'll be, whenever I lose, whatever my, my team was that I lost with, that'll, that'll be what I do. What am I fighting? I keep ranting, and then I forget completely what I'm fighting. I forget what I'm doing. And, oh, short-term memory, I'll tell you. But, let's, let's do this. Divine Whip. I'm not going to use Sleep Powder, because I can one-hit you. Yeah, I'll do that. Make a little, little memento for all these Let's Plays that I'm going to do. And maybe I'll do a... <laughs> maybe I'll make one of all the Pokemon that have died, too. It'll cost a little bit, but I think it'll be a nice little memory. Now yeah, that's... I keep doing that. I wish I could switch those around for like each specific Pokemon so that whenever Arter comes out all I have to do is hit the A button and I'm instantly switching them out for somebody else. That would be too efficient, too wonderful, and make too many people happy. So it'll never happen. Arter grew to level 11. Erdurder Jr. is level 11. Oh, when do you get tackle? I think you get tackle at level 15. Now that, that's that was like a meteorite hole right there. Another Zubat. Yeah, you get tackle at level 15, and then I might put him up against Misty. If I can get him to level 15 and he can get tackle, he can just <laughs> he can have his way with that star you or star me, whichever. <laughs> And, uh, oh, I'm getting way ahead of myself. I gotta think, do I want to go do Misty first, and then try to do Nugget Bridge? Because 
I'm not sure if I do that if I skip my rival battle or not. No, you have to do the rival battle anyway, but he will have a level 20s and I only have three Pokemon and one of them is in no shape to fight. Well, I have five Pokemon, but I really have nothing I can do. Like, what do I want? He'll have Charmander, and I could send out Magikarp if I get him to level 15. Because I don't think he evolves them until, not this coming battle, but the battle afterwards. And that'll be, that'll work out better for me anyway. Because, alright, fantastic battle. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought! Really? It's a mountain and you thought it would be small? Come on. You know, it's one thing if it's like a little cave, but this is a mountain. This is the Pokemon universe, the Pokemon world. And you thought it was small? We're still friggin' learning about new Pokemon. And you're there, this is a small little town here. I'm gonna send Corio just for the type. Not even advantage, I just want them to be the exact same. Because I can throw a Leech Seed and then he can use, or she can use, any move she wants. And of course, he does nothing. Right, okay, so let's try this. And you fell asleep. That's wonderful. He is fast asleep. Alright, so this is how we're gonna be doing this. We're gonna be little cheap people. And we're going to slowly chip away at this Oddish. Oddish! Oddish! What's the matter, Oddish? Are you okay, man, Oddish? Oh, bells, bro! What's up? All right, go harder. You got this. You got this, man. What's up? What's, what's up? What's up, harder? What's going on? No, you don't. You don't have this. Okay. I could send Morgan. Morgan's got a type advantage, and she's only a few levels lower. I think no, she's level six. She's almost half, halfway lower. So I'm just gonna have to keep Cory. I'll use I'll use Morgan as my flying Pokemon when I get fly. Uh, does it does it go against the rules if I was to do the missing go cheat or missing number cheat? I, I know it's missing number, and I always call it missing go because when I was when I was really young. And I discovered that. I was always like, it's missing go. So it's just you usually you usually stop with what you learn first. You can correct it. Yeah! What we got happening here? We got a little bit of white light. We evolving what we turning into. We got big, big green. Boom! What we got? Big, ugly, blue, green, pink, flower, rock, and baby, core, Avisaurosaurus Rex. What you gonna do next? Gonna do it, it, gonna do it, it. What's up? Okay. So that's... Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do a little, a little freestyle. <laughs> a little white boy freestyle. Never hurt anybody. That that exact line when I said that exact line, I just lost every subscriber. I don't even have I don't even have over ten. I I just got two digits. I got a ten subscribers. Last I checked. Oh, still working on that twenty. But maybe we'll get there. I gotta I gotta talk to my my team for Call of Duty. I want to get some MLG footage. Whether we win or lose, I'll just post it anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna fight you. Did you come to explore the cave too? Yeah, I did. Actually, no. That's a lie. I, I actually came because there's no road leading Pewter City to Misty. So, Youngster Josh. That was the name of the man who sold me my phone. Josh. Alright, let's see. He's got a Rattata. Reminds me of Jerome and Tyler. <laughs> I wish I had a Weedle, because Weedles know what to do against Rattatas, apparently. Oh my. 
All right, well, that's it for today's episode. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.